Rossi Racers and welcome live stream Friday. First live stream of uh, Friday. We are going to uh, talk about the brand new free content for Assetto Corsa Competizione version 1.9.3. And uh, what we have here, we have just released yesterday the amazing McLaren 720S GT3 Evo. A little bit of a mouthful as usual with all the new uh, GT3 cars, but what a car it is. Fantastic car. We are going to explore it uh, in this live stream for an hour or so. It's not going to be very, very long. Last famous words, I know. Uh, but we are going to explore it by, you know, joining some public lobby servers and have some fun with the car. Uh, find out the characteristics of the car, uh, how you can set it up, uh, how it performs and so on and so forth. And then later tonight at 10 o'clock, we are going to do some practice on the Mercedes at Spa because on Sunday we have a three hours endurance, which I will be doing with Andimon. And if we don't uh, make any good uh, performance and the result, always blame Andimon about it. So make sure to uh, join again later tonight for the traditional Friday night live stream. Uh, I will be practicing maybe some laps on some, again, public lobbies, something like that. We won't be doing an actual race uh, with the community this time. And we need to take some practice time with the Mercedes. Anyway, uh, what are we doing here? Yes, enough of my ugly face. Let's go inside the game and have a look at this amazing McLaren uh, GT3 Evo. Wonderful, wonderful uh, car, really beautiful, even more beautiful now in the Evo version. As you can see, front uh, canards uh, at the front end of the car, uh, it helps producing more downforce at the front without being so pitch sensitive. You can also see, um, let's have a look at the car actually. You can also see the rear uh, wing and support of, of the wing are different. Uh, that means that the rear wing gets uh, a cleaner flow of air and produces a more stable uh, downforce, again, less speed sensitive, changes in the diffuser as well. We also have some slight changes on the front suspension. So mainly the front suspension has uh, changed the hubs and now permits uh, uh, more spaces to be added between the hub and the uh, suspension arms so that we can get practically double the caster variations than what we had before. Uh, and even more important suspension changes uh, at the rear were uh, practically you can slightly modify the attachments of the rear arms uh, on the hub, which means that you can make the rear suspension having more camber gain when the car goes into a roll. So the rear tires do not lose as much camber uh, as before. Um, engine is also better, in my opinion, has a better torque uh, uh, band. Uh, you have to change gears a little bit sooner, but it has more torque, it accelerates uh, faster. And uh, because of all of these changes, the BOP, obviously very new car, we are still working with the BOP, as well as the SRO uh, in real life is working on the BOP of the car, but it tends to be heavier than before, so no more ultra lightweight McLaren, but much more downforce, better suspension, better traction control, better electronics, and better uh, power delivery. So there's a lot to find out, all right? So what should we do? Should uh, I, I think uh, it would be very nice to uh, go and uh, find some public servers and join and have some fun with the car, right? Okay, let me have a, a look on the chat as well. Yeah, nice. <laughs> David has to wait 20 minutes because he has to go for lunch. <laughs> car seems OP on, on Valencia. We'll figure it out. Uh... We didn't see the interior. Don't worry, the graphics are, the artists are on it. Don't worry, you will get the hot fixes very, very soon with uh, extra stuff on it as well. A badass one, absolutely. <laughs> Ciao, Umberto. Piacere di, di vederti nella chat. All right, so let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay, so multiplayer. 
Oh, I'm disconnected. Have to wait uh, a slight bit. So, since we're waiting, let's have a look at the chat and answer some of the questions from you guys. Yeah, don't worry, guys. The artists are working because uh, Paramount to get the car out together with uh, the BOP changes on the cars for Poricar because we have the actual real race on Poricar and the, and the window uh, of uh, changing the BOP for the eSport drivers was closing. I think we are doing a very, very good uh, steps on the correct direction with all the cars. Uh, we have a new, so we have the Monza BOP, we have the Bathurst BOP, uh, we have a, um, the new uh, Polycar BOP, which also brings the Honda and the Bentley closer to the top cars as well, which is great. Uh, and that also affects uh, other, other trucks as well. And we keep on doing that. We are going to get better uh, BOP for all the C tracks like uh, Imola, Barcelona, Nurburgring, stuff like that. D tracks, branch cuts, it's all in the works. So it's going to get better and better and better. So, absolutely. Mm. All right. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Hey, thank you, Kevin. I don't think anything about the uh, contents that we don't have. Thank you, Jirt. <laughs> thank you. All right, so here we are. Let's see. Let's find uh, a server in qualifying Spa. Whew. Now let's not, not take it instantly so difficult. Again, another Spa. I should be practicing a Spa, but I want to practice with uh, Monza. All right. Zolder. Hmm, that's interesting. So Zolder, yeah, why not? Let's 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 get the car and go to Zolder. Who's that? Kevin, thank you for the follow. Oh no, actually, Kevin, thank you for the support. Other than follow, what I'm saying, thank you, buddy. Wow, thank you so much. Some wonderful, wonderful libraries here on the car. Look at this, Gas Fifty Nine, amazing libraries. Look at this, black and gold, fantastic, so beautiful. This one, black and red, very wonderful patterns, amazing livery. And of course, your Sky Tempesta team, very, very beautiful. All right, let's get this one. Okay, let's go. Are we still in time? Maybe not. So, Zolder, yeah, I think we have some time. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> hey, Sander, thank you. Okay, so let's pick up the aggressive setup. Um, lower a bit of fuel here and let's go out for, what is 2028. Uh, you know what? I'm going to lower this like this and just go up by three and it should be enough for uh, for the temperature yes there are more custom libraries templates all right out we go here it is right, let's go so what caster does, uh, Vest asks. What? Who's that? <coughs> so caster is uh, very particular uh, on the suspension. Uh, practically, it, the instant thing that you feel with caster is uh, more realignment force on your steering wheel. Uh, so once you are turning, your steering wheel wants to go back straight again and stay straight. So this is the first feedback we're gonna get uh, from uh, from the car when you are uh, giving it higher numbers of caster right now obviously this is not the only thing that does caster it also affects the handling of the car and it affects the handling of the car in various ways uh, so first thing is that uh, while you're turning turning your, your steering wheel uh, caster will add more negative camber at the outside tire, at the outside uh, suspension, 
and will take off some of the negative um, camber on uh, the inside suspension so it helps a little bit with the front end uh, grip because it does so it also raises uh, the the car from the inside and so your your inner rear wheel is going to have less load that might help you if you're also using a lock differential to transfer more torque on the outside tire rear outside tire and that will help the car rotate so you raise up the caster you get more feedback more strong and stronger feedback on your steering wheel but you would also get more grip at the front and uh, slightly less grip at the rear or at least more rotation from the rear uh, this is something that you might want or not want depending on the situation so this is mainly what caster does um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the car so the engine delivery is changed now and as you can see uh, it doesn't pay anymore as much to take the uh, revs up to the limiter as before so 7500 uh, rpm is not where you should be upshifting uh, my um, my advice is shift at around 7000 rpm uh, the initial leads on the DAS uh, the indication is shift at the first red lead but we are working also with the teams and we might probably change this uh, as it seems that they have the upshift when they when you need to upshift they are actually um, you know blinking the leads uh, blue so we might do that on the next uh, hot fix but you know uh, at least in, in practice just make sure to upshift at around 7000 rpm and use more of the torque the the car is it has more downforce than before and less sensitive downforce than before and it's actually really really amazing on uh, medium fast to very fast corners medium fast to very fast corners the car is incredibly neutral no understeer at all uh, very stable at the rear as well um, you can really just point it like here you see and just go flat out no problems at all extremely good at high speeds where the car suffers in my opinion is on slow turns like that uh, both in turn in and uh, in traction uh, if you don't stay careful with the car it tends to you know lose some grip at the rear go into an oversteer but it doesn't regain traction fast enough again so you end up losing a lot of time a lot of time uh, sliding and uh, you really have to be much more careful on the slow corner so when you arrive at a corner of second on first gear both the turn in and the exit you really need to modulate the braking release so the trail braking in into the corner and then be very careful with the accelerator on the outside on the exit of the corner uh, it, it's not like that it's going to bite you although if you play with the traction control it can even go into a speed but generally you're going to lose a lot of time so it's uh, it is a car that uh, works extremely well on fast high downforce uh, tracks uh, it is more draggy than before so you might have slightly less um, top speed but still the top speed is very good so don't worry much about that but in corners like this here you have to go in slowly and accelerate gradually otherwise you might lose a lot of time you know uh, trying to control the rear end again here slowly in you see how it, it goes out and you're losing a lot of time trying to correct and uh, keep 
the um, the traction. But on medium corners is already very good, and I'm driving just the aggressive setup right now. Even the pressures are low, so we can fix the pressures. And in fast corners, it's even better. Look at that. Fantastic fast corners. Excellent rotation. Very fast in the apex. Really, really good. Quite good on kerbs. Nothing spectacular. I mean, it's not a Mercedes. It's not uh, uh, the new Ferrari, but it is quite good. But on slow corners, as you can see, it takes ooh, some effort. Fast corners like this, no problem at all. See how it tends to go into oversteer of the exit of uh, slow corners. All right, nice, nice P2, not bad at all. We can uh, fix a little bit the uh, nice the pressures. So we need some extra pressures here. Three, four, and one, two, three, four, maybe. Uh, it's not bad at the rear. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll keep it lower at the rear. It uh, helps with traction out of the corners. Dave! Oh my god, man! What are you doing? You're crazy! Thank you so much, Dave! Wow! Thank you! Yeah, I think this car would be an excellent choice for Spa, Silverstone, uh, Barcelona, maybe. You know, trucks that need a lot of downforce and have fast corners. Marzo, I don't know what to tell you about consoles. I know they're working already, so fingers crossed they do it as fast as possible. Yes, Steve, driving slowly. It is a new car. All right, so the setup is good. I like it. Oh yes, how much uh, <laughs> fuel? <laughs> fuel. Uh, 20 minutes, so I guess uh, something around 40 something. Right? Something like that. 45, let's go over. Uh, Murat, I have made a specific video about uh, the uh, Lamborghini Evo 2, where I'm also explaining the EQ maps. So maybe have a look at that. Maybe someone is going to post it on the chat right now. So you can have a look. And if we have time later on, I can give it uh, another go. Straight line speed compared to Lambo and Daston. I think it's somewhere in between. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. It's not outrageous as the older one, but it's good. The car has TC2. Now, this is a little bit of a thing to... So electronics. It has a much better traction control 1. Traction control 2 is somewhere around when we visited the uh, uh, car um, at Monza. They told us it wasn't available yet, but it would have been available in the following race. Uh, we put the traction control 2 in. Now, uh, another team and driver told us that it doesn't work still yet. Uh, so, I don't know yet what to do with it. I'm gonna wait for some extra feedback and I'll see. Right now it helps. It's not the end of the world, but you know, it's okay. Okay, let's go guys, let's go. Race, race, race. We have a Ferrari, a P1, another Ferrari behind us, an Audi, a BMW. Good race, let's go. Oh, nice angry engine. Clear on the left. Clear on the left. 
All right, safe start. Let's follow that Ferrari for a while. Let's see what happens. Take all pressures and brakes in temperature. Oh, that Ferrari went wide. It's the first lap, so I won't push it too much. I'll just make some pressure to it and let's see what's going on. Yeah, look, look at how the car loses time on those slow corners and then on that fast right-hander is so good. Oof. Miguel, we have done a full-blown long video about all the changes on the tires on the version 1.9. This is where the whole thing changes and it's so, so much more dynamic. A little bit wide, come on. <laughs> oh, that Ferrari is pushing. I'm going to go a little bit uh, more rear brake bias. See if I can insert better. Without losing the rear end, though. All right, all right. Getting the hang out of it. Yeah, so better. Better turn in. Go a slightly bit more at the rear, let's see. Oh, almost lost it there. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Uh, whoop, whoop. I saw him, I saw that McLaren ride at the apex, at the turn in. I thought he was letting me go, but uh, I probably arrived too, too late. Haha, <laughs> SD Rayan. So, thank you for the like. Thank you guys, if you like the stream, as usual, leave a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. There's plenty of material to go through. Ah, uh, that's much better now. Have some understay at the exit here, but slower turns. But while when the, the speed is good, this car is just amazing. So from medium high to very high speed corners, this car is incredible.
slower quarters. Uh, you need, you need. I mean, you can work with the setup, but maybe you're gonna ruin the balance. Uh, but it's, I think it's more of a driving style. You know, you have to be more smooth. You cannot be like in the um, in the Ferrari in front of me, where you can really be aggressive on the turning, and the car just, you know, follows you and does whatever you like. Here, you need to be more careful and smooth on your inputs on the very slow corners. On the fast corners, you can really push it and it will reward you and it is one of the best cars on the very fast corners, in my opinion. I think one of the reasons for that is that uh, among the other things that have changed in the, uh, you know, the aerodynamics and uh, the suspension, they have also moved quite a bit of weight at the front. Uh, the car is rear mid-engine, but it is surprisingly, uh, it has surprisingly big amounts of weight at the front. It's like, you know, I think it's like 48 to 47 uh, percent of weight at the front wheels. It's like the Mercedes, for example. Um, so that means that uh, they also have moved the aerodynamic balance to the front as well. And so the car has become extremely good at high speeds. It doesn't understeer at all. Uh, but whenever you are at a very slow corners where the engine power uh, and torque, most importantly, is high because of the lower gear ratios, then it lacks uh, some, some traction. And you pay that by, you know, having to work with the car in a way to make it not lose the traction. Oh, I'm talking too much and I'm losing time. So let's see if we can improve and get closer to that Ferrari for the first place. I love the rotation of the car when you go on the accelerator. Nice, well, look at this, wonderful. Oof. Too much over there, we lost a lot of time. Come on, Aris. Ah. Dive Sudori? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> See? This is where you go too aggressive and you just lose the rear end. Skill issue for sure. All right, let's go, let's go. There's a car in stick pit lane. Too fast. better look at this this is amazing so flat out and just goes what was that bro <laughs> what is this welcome to the channel I 
Are we gaining something or nothing? The guy is way too fast for us. I don't think I can catch him. Tony, that appears all of us in update. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 no speeding. <laughs> Zumi, we've been talking about the car since the start of the race. It's, uh, it's heavier, okay? It's easier. It's extremely good on those fast bends like this. It's, it's amazingly good on, on fast corners. Fast Corners is maybe one of the best cars over there. No understeer, no oversteer. Just neutral, you just point it where you want and it just goes. Amazing. And it's tricky on the very slow corners. Slow corners, you need to take care on the trail braking while turning in because it will, uh, you know, hang out the rear end from you. And in the exits again, when you're applying the throttle again, it goes to oversteer. And when it does, you are losing a lot of time, a lot of time. So you need to stay careful and patient in the slow corners and uh, you can gain a lot more time in the fast corners. Yeah, it definitely helps, uh, Chef. Look at this. Uh, this is amazing here. It just goes wonderful. What noodle sauces? <laughs> Uh, George, if you're not experienced, just pick the car that you like the most, you know? It's all practice and experience that you can gain from any car, so... I mean, you like one car, stick to it, or, you know, pick a couple of cars that you like, stick to them and uh, have fun with them. This is the whole world that, that matters right now at, uh, at your level. Four minutes to go. Uh, 
Uh, it's not possible for me to catch that Ferrari at the front. But I'm uh, in a comfortable second place. Very safe. So let's uh, bring it home, as they say. No, Razor, there's no fix over that. You have to deal with it and uh, see if you can uh, improve on that. going to three minutes or like two laps and the last uh, two laps we could also try a very low traction control so that you can see how the car can become you know very fast and comfortable if you overdo it if you're using a low traction control now uh, you might remember that the old McLaren had always even a traction control one a very engaging and uh, uh, disturbing traction control uh, programming. Now, on this car, it is far more permissive to the point that sometimes, if you go really low, it's, uh, it becomes really dangerous. Especially, as we said, because this car likes to rotate way too much on the slow corner, so... Let's go to, down to traction control one. We keep the traction control two slightly higher, or three. Whoa! <laughs> you see already. How much rotation it permits now before engaging. Hey, Junaid, thank you, buddy. This is where you have to be really careful now of the slow corners. Almost cannot go flat out over here. Bob Robson says if I can uh, say something about the tire consumption. Yes, we can do that at the end of the race. Everybody. Well, in slow corners, uh, Gonga, you go slow and uh, smooth on the accelerator. On fast corners, you just keep your foot down and the car will make it all alone. It's the slow corners that this car needs from you to be careful and smooth operator. 
or obviously you can always raise the uh, traction control. Andre, thanks for the follow. Whoa. <laughs> obviously you go up to three or four and it's much much better. Look at this. Now, oh, there we go. Uh, it's both a, uh, you know, traction issue, but it also has to do <coughs> with the actual position of the driver in the car. And I will tell you what I mean in a moment. But in the meantime, it's P2 on our first race on the public server with the McLaren Evo. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Nice, a little bit boring because I was alone, but very nice. Well, I wanted to show you here, look at how at the front the driver sits in the McLaren. So there is a lot of car at the, at the rear. That means that uh, when you are driving and the rear end starts to slide out, the rotation you understand is smaller because you are sitting up front so much. And uh, that means that if you are not careful and you let it rotate too much, it's already too late. That's why you have this, uh, you know, um, feeling of oh my god, the, ca the car over rotates and oversees everywhere. It it is because when you are actually understanding that it over rotates, it's already too late for you. So you need to act before, or you need to be smoother when you're driving it. So going back to the um, actual tires uh, consumption. As you can see, we did 20 minutes and the fronts are in 291 and the rears are at 286. So what we did is, because we had a little bit too much of a delta between front and rear cars on the cars that we were using different compounds at the front, different dimensions at the front and at the rear, uh, we fine-tuned the consumption of the different tires at the front and rear so that there is not so big of a gap as, uh, as it was before. Um, that means that uh, you can use your tires for a double stint now, hopefully, you still have to be very careful, but the gap, the delta, the difference between consumption at the front and the rear is going to be smaller. There's still going to be a lot of difference, but it's going to be smaller. Uh, so, uh, yeah, be, be aware of, of, uh, of that. It's, it's slightly easier, but don't expect miracles. I mean, you have to, to take care of, the, of your rear tires always. Okay, so that was it. Not bad for first race. Uh, we have time. We can do another one. And graining is back for the extra burst tears. Yeah, we also did uh, something extra on the uh, how uh, on the grip of the tires of the GT3 tires during cold. Uh, conditions so when the car is when when the track is damp uh, and maybe has you know slightly rain or even normal rain and you have a little bit of a wet track uh, uh, it seemed that uh, drivers were still using slick tires and they're having quite good performance now it's gonna be more difficult and you should need to change into wet tires or find a compromise with that so yeah what's out the Logan Pack. <laughs> oh my God! Yes. <laughs> Rob, uh, Rob, we're gonna have another stream tonight, later tonight. So make sure to tune in at ten o'clock uh, Central European Summer Time, and we're gonna have another stream practicing with the Mercedes at Spa tonight. Um, okay, so where do we go? Nurburgring. Now it's already in racing. Uh, Monza, as usual, but still racing. Okay. Uh, what is this? Kailami. Qualifying Kailami. Yeah, we could do Kailami. Let's go Kailami, guys. How much grip does rear tire wear itself? It takes away. I don't know. It's very. It's not just a number it's much more dynamic it has also to do with the characteristics of the tire how stiff it becomes uh, how it absorbs uh, the um, uh, the bumps and the curves as well it changes a lot of stuff you know 
Alright, so... Temperatures are high, so... I think we're gonna stay on the same conditions here on the pressures and everything. Hope for the better. Uh, let's go and do a couple of laps. Graining and tire wear always affects people that smash the out lap. That's, uh, that's for sure. Uh, maybe ask the Audi drivers about the new TC system, you know, the real ones. If they have a different uh, idea nowadays, instead of what they had a year ago or so. <laughs> but yeah, guys, usually, you know, don't, don't make me comment on stuff that I shouldn't. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> I got <laughs> this guy is so good at these fast corners. Oh, look at that! Slower corner, instant problems. <laughs> Another one with problems at the traction of the rear end. Regarding the traction control, guys, I mean, I'm not talking here about the uh, very fast drivers. Again, I'm talking about the 95% of us. Okay, so from slow drivers to good drivers. Don't use what you see on the influencer top uh, streamers uh, and eSport driver settings. Don't do that. You're not going to gain anything at all. Actually, you're going to get slower. So use traction control 2 at your liking. Use normal setups. It's going to be much better for you. You're going to have much better performance instead of, you know, going with whatever you see. On oh, look at that. Woohoo! That goes in good. Whatever you see on... Uh, top eSport drivers. They are different animals, they use different settings, they can't control the actually the cars they are driving are different from our cars because they can push them so much to the limit that it's not the same car anymore, you know. So don't uh, don't look at that. did it again. Pressures are low. Equipment doesn't matter. There are some people out there, you know, top sport drivers that are using Logitech old wheels and they're still going like crazy. It's unfortunately for me and pretty much everybody else, it's skill issue. Uh, but because the skill is different, you know, don't try to emulate what they're doing. Ooh, look at this. Having trouble control the rear end. Okay. Let's uh, fix a couple of things. So, that looks good here. The pressures are a little bit low, so let's go higher at the rear. Okay like that and uh, maybe slightly more preload differential so that the car doesn't rotate so much uh, ah we can we can raise the rebound at the rear so that the car doesn't go into uh, doesn't raise the rear end so much and on uh, on the turn in that should help us here we we'll leave it as it is and we will try let's go
Uh, guys, about that comment about Williams, uh, people. Not one, not two, many, many people, okay? Uh, it, I think it's wrong to categorize all the people in a team because of something happened to some guy. Okay, if it happens and whatever. Uh, it's like, you know, talking about uh, that this country is not good, it doesn't have good people because of some people that do not behave. It's like saying, you know, Italy has mafia, thus all, all, all Italians are uh, mafiosos, you know? It doesn't work like that, so we shouldn't say that. I know that, you know, it's a trend, I know that sometimes uh, it's, it's something that you, it comes out innocently, you know, but I would say try to not do that. It's not good. I had to do, uh, and I'm getting feedback from the Williams uh, Esport guys on uh, uh, on Assetto Corsa Competizione, and they have been always the nicest guys, very good, very polite. So, you know, I believe they are suffering from that as well, for, from the accusations or whatever, and other teams as well. So, uh, let's, you know, just try to. Uh, point the finger to the single person that does the damage and not to uh, a full team uh, and all the people working in that team. I think it's better. Hey, Euro Racers, thank you so much for, to for having me, guys. Thank you for the server. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, I keep having issues here. Let's uh, raise the ABS a little bit. It seems that I'm locking the tires. So, as you saw, every time I was downshifting, the car would snap out of me, which is typical for the McLaren in slow speed. But let's see if we can improve that with a slightly higher ABS setting. Might help me. I have already upped the differential. Let's see here. Should be a slightly better, maybe. Yeah, not bad. By the way, guys, thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Amazing numbers again. Really appreciate it. And I hope you are enjoying the new content. As usual, don't forget to leave a like or maybe subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, let alone the subscription and the likes and everything, discover and explore the channel because we have plenty of material on how to set up your car, how to drive, how to race. Uh, there is a lot of videos in the various playlists. So have a look. I'm sure you're going to find something that will help you improve. So good on those corners, so good. On the fast corners, this car is amazing. On the slow corners, you really need to be careful. Look at this, just going to over rotate. Oh my god. I was watching the Ah I was watching the chat again. Ah oh, come on, too much damage and I don't have time for another lap. Ah that was so unfortunate. Switch me for uh, watching the chat and reading. Okay, so what we can do here to 
possibly improve the car in the uh, in the turning of the slow corners because it really tends to, to go into oversteer so I can lower this slightly uh, I can make the front end stiffer maybe yeah let's do that and hope for the best um, <laughs> okay, 20 minutes. Mang says, I always wonder how streamers don't crash when they read. <laughs> Good streamers don't crash when they read. Lazy devs always crash when they read. <laughs> it's the same as the older uh, McLaren, the wheel rotation. Yes, uh, Grumakai, we keep that uh, uh, graphing game und slightly under inflated to remind you guys that um, because the pressure is lower anyway, you might lose pressure on the curves. We will fix that and, uh, and adjust it later on, but for the moment, we want to make sure that people understand that, okay, the pressure window is, is you know, higher, but it is a lower pressure that works which means that you might lose pressure on the caps you have to be careful okay let's go up here so Donny, thank you for the follow mate uh, what do I think about the new Mercedes updates on Monaco? Somebody pulled the trigger uh, and decided that, you know what, it doesn't work, we have to do something as they do everybody else. So, that is what I think. Are they going to work? I have no idea. You know, that is very complicated stuff. We need to wait and see what happens. And I don't think we're going to see big differences uh, at Monaco. It would be more important to see what is going to happen on, on other tracks that have, you know, proper... Uh, turns and faster uh, lap times and you know uh, average speeds <clears throat> I think the Maca well uh, I think personally that the Maca can compete with the top cars in ACC but most importantly it has already won two races in the top eSport uh, races at Bathurst and at Poricar. So, you know. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Uh, track is slightly colder, but we'll keep it as it is. Let's hope for the best here. Uh... Evo uses uh, slightly more, but nothing really, nothing, not not that big of a difference. Thirty seconds. Ah, have rotated my un uncle here, and it's it hurts when I'm pushing on the accelerator. Yeah, the McLaren sounds meaty. We have changed, obviously, the uh, sound engines slightly to, you know, take it more to, to the car and also to uh, show the indication of that, you know, you need to change gears slightly sooner. Okay, let's go up again to the ABS. And let's be careful now because we are starting in position 19. It's gonna be difficult, guys. Wow. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Left. Clear on the left. 
puts out. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Okay, clean. Get the description of the Mercedes, big rear end, let's see. Opportunistic uh, entry there on the Mercedes. Car on the right. Clear on the right. I heard something, but I don't know if we touch or if he spun, trying to give the. I hope I didn't cross into him. But I was already inside, so... Ah! Ooh, errors, errors, many errors for many cars. I'll get the slip of the Lambo. I don't have any damage, that's good. Oh, the Lambo is fast in the straight. We are already P9. That's fantastic. Man, this car even closes the, the line if, if I made a mistake. Oh, I went way too wide there. Come on, Aris, come on. We can do it. It's still the turn in that I'm not confident with. Let's, uh, let's move the brake vice at the front. Let's see if we can improve. Maybe yes. That was better here. I'm not going down to first gear because I'm losing the rear end from the engine brake. But uh, let's see with the new uh, brake bias if it gets any better. Go even farther forward. Oh, another. Oh, double error. Oh my god. Box, box. We have to repair the car. Yeah, box, box, box. What box? Where do I go? Ah, that was very unlucky. Ah, uh, it just let the car, you know, sliding backwards. <laughs> no worries, happens, bait. Okay, let's fix it. Ah, uh, that was bad because we were moving forward. <laughs> Jose says, always aim, aim at the rear of the car. I did. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I forgot to untick the chain tires. I don't even know if the pressures are going to be correct, but yeah, you know, 15 minutes remaining to the race. It's gonna be whatever it's gonna be. È vero, è vero Fabio, ho insegnato io, oh, l'ho fatto come vedo, però a volte non, eh, non, non funziona. Hey Mark, thank you buddy, thank you. I'm aiming, aiming at, uh, this is a faster corner track, so I would go to uh, 26 highs. So like 26.7, point, but... I didn't have the time to, to do this here, so... 
Oh, now I'm one lap down. All right, so let's make sure we don't uh, give any disturbance to to the people racing. And let's see if we can maybe stay close to them, you know? Ooh. Oh, that's the Mercedes. It was behind me before. Let's go here again. Oh, so many cars. I really have to let them go. Welcome to the tunnel, buddy. Let them go inside. Another one, Vladimir. Thanks, thanks for the follow, Gary. Okay, let's see if we can uh, follow those cars. I think we have, yeah, one second point seven to the car behind us. So if I can pick up my pace, I can follow those cars without disturbing. Guys, I never use the the virtual mirror. I never use mirrors. It's in all my videos. How good the car is here. Lambo. We survived perfectly on at Zolder and we had such a bad race at Kailami. <laughs> I can't park there yet. What is going on? People going left and right. What's going on? Yellow flag in sector three. Okay, can we have at least a couple of laps without crashing? Glass. Is it a uh, Logitech? If it is, update your drivers. It was a problem with Logitech at some point.
I have too many enemies in South Africa. Oh my god, why? <laughs> okay, here we go again. Let's see if we can do that turn without somebody crashing in front of us, possibly. Yeah, we did it. Uh, we tried Hunter. I hope it is going to be already much more competitive. And if it's not, we will keep on updating it so that it gets, you know, to a proper uh, speed. Yeah, Botley. <laughs> Tomek! Let's not give uh, disturbance to those guys here. They are fighting for position. Nobody behind us, so we can follow closely and have fun watching them. Ah, there you have it. Yeah, typical. I think I have solved it with more front brake bias there. Obviously, my skill issue, but it works better for me now. Andre, no worries, mate. I mean, it's it's public, it's for fun, no problems at all. And besides, my biggest accident there, it was just bad luck. There was nothing, you know, I could do to avoid that. And also the guy wasn't like it was his fault. He just lost the car. And uh, it is what it is. No worries at all. Okay, hey, doctors. <laughs> No, there's nothing more fundamental to the Bentley because unfortunately the car doesn't seem to have had any real life uh, improvements and advancements or evolution so we're just trying to take it up with BOP as uh, it was kind of a new car so it's a pity to not have it there besides you know it's big it's bold should be there no, hyping doesn't affect uh, lap time accuracy, it's the server that takes care of that. Now obviously if you completely lose a, 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 a packet, the server will try to do, uh, you know, uh, estimation I guess from where you were and where you are now. But we're talking about big problems, you know, with connection, not just hyping. Frederick Luther has been kicked from the server, not nice. Received new updates. Yes, it just it just received a new update with the latest uh, update. <laughs> oh.
So as you can see guys, if you can make the car work on the very slow corners with the brake bias, uh, changes, some changes to the setup maybe, then you have practically done half of the job. The rest is very easy, the car will be just fantastic on, this, on the fast corners. This is where you have problems, first, cor first gear corners, second gear corners. From third gear and on, it's just fantastic. This is where you have the problems. But there are plenty of things you can do. You can go soft on the rear, or maybe, you know, you can start with the safe setup, which is extremely stiff at the rear, but at the reason, it doesn't let the rear suspension, <coughs> sorry, it doesn't let the rear suspension move around. And uh, by locking the rear suspension, you make the car more predictable, you know? <laughs> it's appeared walking, so I don't know why I don't think so. I'm sorry to, to hear that. Now that you're saying I remember that there is Monaco GP. Well, we're gonna end this race and stop the stream. <laughs> and then we're gonna get back into streaming tonight at 10 o'clock Central European time. Make sure to tune in. We're going to do some practice with the Mercedes because on Sunday we have an endurance race. By the way, you can still make your team of two or three drivers and join our endurance race uh, during Sunday afternoon night. It's gonna be a three hour endurance. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Information as usually on the uh, description of the video. And tonight, more information on how you can join. Let's leave uh, this guy go through. On the right. on the right. Hey, hey. Hello, Gabel. to white. I love how the Audi goes into rotation at the exit when he hits the accelerator, it just slides a little bit and then just shoots out. Very nice.
maybe if I have kept pushing, maybe I could have cut the 12th position, but doesn't matter. There we are. Unlucky race, but interesting in terms of car handling. Did some job here at Kailami. Very cool, very nice. All right, guys, so. Have a look at the car, so beautiful. So this is it, guys. This is the brand new McLaren 720S GT3 Evo car. And a very exciting car, uh, a car that uh, it's an evolution of the previous. It's a much, uh, it's it's a big improvement on some aspects, but it keeps also some strange characteristics, uh, especially on low speed turns. You need to take care of it. You need to take care of your uh, driving skills and you know drive it properly on slow speed corners, and it will reward you a lot on the very fast uh, bends it's really very good on the medium high to high speed uh, corners it's very good uh, the setup mm, should be quite different from the old uh, uh, car so you need to again uh, you know experiment with new setups uh, choices and values uh, but uh, we believe it's going to be another uh, top of the line car capable of wins pretty much everywhere so pasta will be yeah very very happy about it and uh yeah this is it so i hope you enjoyed it guys and uh see you tonight see you tonight later tonight okay take care good night no not good night what i'm saying no next time yeah whatever tonight <laughs>